step one before you ever post is to clean those ears out. So you just wanna make sure there's no wax and dirt because anything that's in those little ears is gonna rub. And more detailed is what I'm doing, you couldn't see it earlier, but basically I just put the towel around my finger and get right down in there, that's where the wax is. But then you wanna clean the whole inside of the ear and out uh, because you wanna get any dirt off that might be there. <laughs> It's okay, you like it, right? And then let them thoroughly dry before you go on to posting. So what we'll need to do this job is two studs. I have another video, link in the description of how to make those. And then you need three pieces of tape for each ear and one piece of tape for the bridge. So I always do uh, two shorter pieces, about four to six inches long, and one six to eight, maybe eight to ten inches long uh, piece of tape. Also, real quick before we put these in, I just wanted to talk a minute about uh, the size of the tampon. There's basically three sizes uh, that are pretty common to use. You have uh, regular, super, and super plus. Uh, so that affects the diameter. So you'll see when we put these in, they're snug in the ear canal, but you don't want them to be too tight. We started with the super plus and uh, they would fit, but then they popped out quite uh, easily and I think that was because they were too tight and they were very uncomfortable for her. Uh, the regular a little too narrow. Um, there was a lot of her ear because her ears are um, kind of um, wide so there was just a lot of skin that wrapped around those so we found that the super was the right size, just the right size for her. So definitely uh, you know Maybe try one of each, see which one fits your dog. Your puppy will be a little different than ours. Whether it's a boy or a girl will matter, but even just the breeding will affect how big their ears are. Can you see that? Good girl. Good girl. What's a little angel? Yeah. Right, where we're gonna start, you take the post and you work it down. Okay, now she's positioned herself on the bridges, so that's not great, but what you wanna do is take the post and work it down straight into the ear canal and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see from that angle, but you just work it down in until it bottoms out, and then you take the ear and wrap it against the tape all the way. So now her ear is stuck to that, but you wanna hold her ear. All right, so then I like to take the longer piece of tape that I told you about earlier. This is the one that's like eight to 10 inches. I stick it right to the post, and then I work it against this natural flap. See that natural flap? You wanna make sure that it goes with the natural flap and you don't work against that. You leave that fold or flap. Wrap it around, but not too, too tight. You can see down in there how it's not too tight. See how it's still kind of loose? So we do that, and then we're gonna work the two smaller pieces around the ear the same way. Yeah, that's a good girl. And the reason you don't go too tight is because there are blood vessels in these ears, and you don't want the blood vessels to be cut off because the ear is living tissue. So you wanna make sure you leave that loose. So you wrap them all around, and then after you're done, you just take and kinda of squeeze that ear. See how there's a little left there? That's where I got that extra piece of tape. We're gonna put that extra piece on, and we wanna make sure it's all covered, because you want it to be, you know, not tight, but you want it to hold that post in there just where it is. So there's the first one. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Now we can do the other side. Same thing on the other side here. Straight down in. Straight down in, wrap it up. See how this one sticks up a little higher? That's because this ear is actually cropped a little bit higher. That happened with our other dog too and it didn't end up being a big deal. We've been told the tape, if it gets wet, can constrict. Another reason to wrap it loosely, not tight. Yeah, so you don't want the tape to get wet. If your dog's, if it gets a little sprinkling, we've done had that before and that's not a problem, but if they get wet, you gotta repost. Take the bandages off and uh, repost because that, that will squeeze that little ear, which will be uncomfortable for them. And even worse, it could um, squeeze off the blood vessels. But you can see there's a little ear still exposed at the top. So I just cut another little piece of tape to wrap around that tip. I wanna cover that tape 
that's exposed from the tampon that's got all that adhesive, but that'll just make it a little uh, stronger too, and that way the ears look nice and it's all covered. Okay, let's talk about the bridge real quick. So uh, the bridge is just this longer piece, it's about 20 inches. Oh, you're not going anywhere, not yet. And, uh, oh, don't shake. Shaking will get them out, especially before you put the bridge on. But basically the bridge is gonna hold the two ears together, but how you place the bridge is important. So if your puppy's ears are, when you take the post out, when they're alert, if their ears are too close together, then you wanna bridge it a little further apart. Her ears are a little, little further apart, so we're actually gonna bridge it so her ears are a little closer together. We're trying to bring those ears closer together so then they're perfect. So you'll see what I mean when I do it here real quick. So what you do is, I always just go on the back side of the ear, and this is part of it. They She's like gotta to get comfy. She's gotta get comfy. <laughs> so the back side of the ear, I stick it to, and then wrap the tape back around. So now it's completely taped to one of the posts. And so now I can kind of move it around to depending on where I want to put the, po the bridge. So like I said, I want it to be a little closer together. So then we're gonna bring those ears together and she's gonna move right at the worst time. But that's okay. Okay, so you just wrap that back around and then to itself. And then you don't need a ton of extra tape on this. As long as it's stuck to itself, you can cut that little tail off of there. And then to reinforce it, this is where that piece of duct tape comes in that I cut earlier. So you just stick it on there, back around, over the top. And now you'll see how we bridged her ears a little close, a little closer together. Uh, yours you might want out. So that's it, just like that. She's posted maybe for the last time. And that's how you post your Doberman's ears.